Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Alla fine Forza You bet Oh wait 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 Ciao Juventini of the world My name is Giuseppe Welcome back on the channel I hope you are well I hope you are doing well And that you are prepared Because today Looks like It will be A crazy day A nice day A really nice day Finally Finally and normally today should be the day where finally we will have another a new the one that we waited for so long before the euro before the last season we already want that man when Sarri was in charge Maurizio Sarri he wanted him we didn't take him. Then Juventus wanted him when Pirlo was there. Sassuolo didn't want to give him. They said 40 million one year ago. Juventus said no. Young player, potential. We don't want to spend 40 million. They took the first American guy that made history with Juventus, a guy that we didn't know, he played at Schalke 04, we didn't even know the position he was playing because sometimes he was playing in the middle, sometime in defense, sometime on the left, sometime on the right, much cheaper, Weston McKenney. We didn't buy at that time the guy that normally should be announced, or at least should be a done deal today. I don't know if you already guessed who I'm speaking about. Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe Marino123, he guessed already. He's saying calma. Maybe Robin van der Voorst guessed already maybe James Abzopardi 
Maybe Liam van Leekwijk. Maybe Tarek. Today, what we will do, we'll speak about two topics mainly. About the guy that I didn't even mention the name of. And I have some really beautiful pictures of him. Let me show you. Without unveiling the name. Really quick. Be ready. I will show you a picture in one second. It will appear on your screen. Boom. And I will take it off. We have 46 likes. We are 102 persons. From the moment I put the picture, I want the maximum of like. And if we are able to do all in of likes, that means 100 likes, I will reveal the name of the guy that should be a done deal today. It's not Mbappé. It's not Jorginho. It's not Umtiti. I show you the picture. Are you ready? It will be really fast. One. Prepare your finger. Two. Three. I showed it. It was really flash. It was really fast. So let's see if you are able to reach the maximum of like. Because I don't see it growing. We are stagnated at 74. I have other pictures today that we will speak about. Look at that. Boom. Prepared a lot of pictures. I'll show it again. Boom. It goes fast, but we are still not over the 100. If we are not over the 100, I don't pronounce the name. Ciao Luca. It is not Haaland Juventus. Are we going to get Paul Pogba? That's the second person I want to speak about today. Because hope is the last one to die. It will not be for 2021. But maybe we will do it again. Masterclass of Juventus. Paul Labil Pogba. 22-23. For that amount. Again. Again! We take him next year. The rumors are there. 95. Can we reach 100 likes so that I can finally pronounce the name of the one that we will have today and we can enter in the topic and we can see all the stats. Where is that guy really good at? Is he really good? Will he reinforce our guy or will he become a flop? I don't know. Will it become a flop? The next. Oh, we reached. We reached 100 likes so we can say Manuel Locatelli Day. Manuel Locatelli Day because I waited be that it was after midnight Euro European time, Italian time, Belgian time so that we can finally speak about Manuel Locatelli. Young player, young Italian player from 23 years old that played at Milan in the Yauf team and also in the first team. He went to Sassuolo with the Derby. The guy here inside, he has that logo. He had the beautiful logo of Juventus in his heart, in his mind. Since he's a small kid, his family is Juventina and he will become a Juve player. The guy that you all wanted because you are writing every day on social network, on the channel, you're asking me, Giuseppe, we want Locatelli. Why is Juventus not on the player? Why do we not have any enough money? Why is Juventus not accelerating for the player? Why can't they find 5 million to give to Sassuolo so that we close the player. The day has arrived. The day of that player, Manuel Locatelli, will be a Juventus player, at least according to all the rumors, because you know, tomorrow morning everyone can wake up and uh, it can be that we, we don't sign him anymore. 
everything can happen in Mercato. Mercato never sleeps, but Mercato is also crazy. But all the sources, Mirko Di Natale, Romeo Agresti, Fabrizio Romano, Nicolo Schira, Paganin, everyone, Guido from Gazzetta dello Sport, F, from Tutto Sport, sorry, everyone is speaking about the decisive day. Andrea Agnelli will not go with Cherubini, with Arriva Bene, with Pavel Nedved to meet Sassuolo. It's Sassuolo that will come to Torino to meet Juventus management. They are coming because they want to give us the player. They are finally agreeing with Juventus' proposal. Finally, thank you, Locatelli. Locatelli will be the player that will change the midfield, yes or no, we don't know. We will check some stats, we'll see how we play today. I will try to do it because I didn't study too much, so I will discover together with you, thanks to the great preparation work of Passione Calcio, that is a really expert in everything that is stats because he's studying all the stats of the player, we will check them together, we'll speak about him, and then we will see if Juventus will be able next year to yeah, next year to even reinforce with a Paul Labille Pogba, the French player, the World Cup winner, the young guy that we took when he was a baby and he didn't even know how to dye his hair. He grew up, he became a man. Some people are saying he became a flop at Manchester United. He went back to home in the rainy England of Manchester, he wants to go back on holiday. Because on holiday, that's where the heart is. It is on holiday, that's where we have the best time of our life. So let me check all the comments of the people after that intro. That took me 11 minutes. Ciao Rui Avelar. Ciao Rui from Portugal, who's saying, hmm, it's so hard to guess. We would want from, who do we want from Sassuolo? I would never have guessed that it was Locatelli. Jan van Engeland is saying, playing FIFA and just court with Locatelli. This is a sign. Ciao. Tom Snipes, who's saying, no, now Beppe knows. Locatelli will sign tomorrow. I don't know, guys. I don't, I, I'm not taking care of the Mercado. I'm just reading like I'm doing in the Telegram chat, thanks to Moel Tactico, who's writing. I'm also on Instagram, following the news. I am on Twitter. I try to send some messages to have some answers. Ciao, Tiv. Renato would be amazing. Forget about Renato. He will not come. Pogba next summer, maybe. Ciao, Aman. Third kit was made for Locatelli. It can be. What number will he take? 73, maybe. Tarek is saying, Manuel, domani, Locatelli. Eh, no. Because where I live, but also in Italy, it is already mid-9.37. So what does that mean? It is today. Locatelli day is today. It is today. Cerillo is already saying Barella over Pogba. Different players, guys. Different players. Ciao, Adi. Ciao, Adi. I'm doing fine. Thank you. So, are you happy? Let me know the satisfaction of the player. Or maybe we can ask, are people believing that it will be the Locatelli day? So, Locatelli day. I will do the first poll of the evening. It is today. Today means today because we are already the 13th of August. It will be before Monday. It will be the famous next week or never, or at least not this year. We go and then we will speak about the stats. We'll try to analyze who is Locatelli. So the four options are there at your disposal. Try to vote as much as you can uh, from the moment that they appear on the channel. And the people are already voting in massively because we have already uh, 20 votes with 56% are saying, yes, it will be today. 51 now, because people are saying before Monday, pay attention, before Monday, I was speaking about Saturday or uh, on uh, Sunday. Tomorrow, I don't know if Locatelli will be presented or not, I don't know. But apparently it should be the day where they will find an agreement, Sassuolo and Juventus. I hope they can find it really, really fast, really fast. So. 
Who do we have in the chat? Good morning, Beppe. You see, morning, because it's already super early. Good morning from Indonesia. Uh, next week, knowing Cherubini. Tiv, you don't know Cherubini. You don't know Cherubini. You read the papers and you read that they are saying next week, next week. You need the tr you read the trolls online and that's why you think that you know Cherubini. You don't know Cherubini. He just started his job. He's there and he took from the 1st of July... There was Euro 2020. They couldn't do any transaction. There is not a lot of money. Cherubini, he brought Caio Jorge and he's about to take us uh, Locatelli. What did we want this summer? Knowing the situation of Juventus, we wanted Caio Jorge, we wanted Locatelli. And these two players, the objectives of Juventus will be centered. We will reach these targets. So, I don't know how good you know him, but I am happy with Cherubini at the moment. Then we will see. We have even Bianconeri zone in the chat who's saying if it's not done tomorrow, it will be Pjanic early next week. Um, can be. Can be. Tomorrow is a decisive day. I told you there are big, 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 big chances that tomorrow or today actually is the day of Locatelli. There are big chances that they find an agreement because Sassuolo, even if they played really hard and difficult, um, they want to satisfy the player because they made a promise to the player. N last year, when Juventus, the club of the heart of Locatelli, wanted the player, Sassuolo were doing the bad boys because they, were, they wanted to do a strong team. Are we furious versus Sassuolo because they didn't want to give their best player? No, it makes sense. They wanted to do a beautiful Serie A and they didn't find a replacement. He was sad. Locatelli was sad, but also professional because he was thankful to Sassuolo for growing him up, for giving him a chance after the flop of Milan. He was thankful to De Zerbi, the trainer of Sassuolo, that believed in him. It took him like a small kid on the ground and made him the player that now big clubs want, like Arsenal, like Juventus. I heard about Liverpool and other teams. He was thankful, but he was sad here in the small little heart. He was sad and they made him a promise. They said to him, Manuel, if next year Juventus come back and if they really want you again, we will make sure that you go to the club of your heart. We will make sure that you go back in a team where you belong, an elite club that is fighting for Champions League. Pandemic. Make that it was really complicated for Juventus to buy that player. Absolutely, yes. And Juventus couldn't give all the money because we changed management. And the new management said, no, we really want the player and he wants to come to us, but we don't want to spend, overspend for any player on the world. These times, that era is over. We don't have the same money as Paris Saint-Germain. Because we are a club that tries to be auto-managed. We sell, we buy. Limited budget on the market. We try to be fair play. Juventus came back and Sassuolo wanted too many money. We said no, wait. We will wait. We will look around if there are some opportunities. Pjanic, Renato Sanchez the young French player from 21, Corentin Stolisso from Bayern. We looked around. We tried to have some info. But our main target was Locatelli. And we will try to have Locatelli in our team. And finally, tomorrow will be the last meeting. The last meeting to close in. Ciao Roberto. I think going back for Pjanic is going a step backwards. We always said that the main target is Locatelli. 
main target, number one. Pjanic was not an alternative to Locatelli. Pjanic was an add-on. If Ramsey left, at the moment, Ramsey didn't leave. So that means that it will not be or Pjanic or Locatelli. It will be Locatelli plus maybe Pjanic or Locatelli alone. It will not be Tolisso because I see that Tarek is saying Tolisso. It will not be Tolisso. We have to pay attention. J Medical is already full. We have already a bed taken for Arthur. Rabiot is there in visit. We hope and we wish that we don't have too many other injured players this season. But we don't want to take the risk with a Tolisso. Ciao Ricardo from Australia. My great friend Ricardo. Ciao. Welcome on the channel. How much would we have to pay in salary for Pjanic? He has a, he has a salary now at from 8.5. If he comes, that means, don't forget that Ramsey leaves. He wants to take off 20%. So it will be around, if you take 8.5 and 8.5, it's 17. It's 1.7 less than 8.5. Um, so we are around, around 6. Around 6. A bit more than 6. Or 7, sorry. A bit more, a bit less than 7. So let me check what you want. Today, people are saying today. After seven minutes, 49% of the people are saying today will be the Locatelli day. 27% are saying before Monday. Then we have next week 13 and never 13. So we can stop with the votes, guys. You voted that it will be today, the day of Locatelli. Uh, thank you, Nor. Thank you, Nor, for uh, calculating for me. Um, so now we go, because that's what I wanted to do with you together today. After again, the beautiful picture. Look how beautiful Locatelli is. Of course, this is an edit. This is not a real picture, but we go. How is Locatelli playing? We will check. We will check, but first I want to wait. I want to wait for the important message. The first donation of the evening. Thank you to Aziz John, who's saying all the Serie A teams, they couldn't keep their important player and it's true. Lukaku just signed for Chelsea. High salary and no money. But Juve didn't sell important players. Who is king of Serie A? It's Juve. And I love that message because it's true. We are complaining so much about anything and everything. I understand that perfectly. That we want all the best player of the world. I want the best player of the world. But we have to understand the situation. And situation at the moment is like as is John saying. It is hard. It is difficult. We can't afford. Look, Inter that pay attention. Eh, because they just took Dumfries. But they took a Dumfries to replace an Akimi. They took a Dzeko to replace a Lukaku. Great players. No doubt about that. But we have one player that didn't actually prove anything from PSV, Dumfries, to replace an Akimi that came from Real Madrid, that came from uh, Dortmund. And he went to Inter. And they replaced Dzeko, that, was a, that is at the end of his career, still a great player, to replace Lukaku. Is he awesome, Dumfries? Let's see in Serie A. Serie A is not the Eredivisie in the Netherlands. So let's see. Uh, Kroos wants to come. Uh, won't come. Won't come. No, he, won't, he will not come, guys. Kroos will not come. Uh, Pellegrini on loan again, probably. Or we will try to sell him, but it will be difficult. So probably on loan again. Uh... Pellegrini, I, I totally agree with that. But we'll speak about that later. I want to go really to the images. So we saw some images again from Passione Calcio on Twitter. I will put his description in the link later after the video uh, because he prepared some slides. You see that uh, here we have Italy versus Austria. And what do we see? That the guy is really good in penetration passes. He's Probably his best skill is playing vertically. He sees 
the opportunities he sees the line like uh, passione calcio draw it here you see that there are four players he see that there is a possibility to pass the ball so this is already a really great uh, thing that at Juventus probably at the moment we are missing because if we are speaking about our midfield who do we have in our midfield we have Rodrigo Bentancur that is not really playing vertical at least last year because two years ago I saw some verticalization from Bentancur last year it was not was it because Pirlo didn't want to maybe but at least we didn't see it from Bendancur, even if he has the skills sometimes to do it. Ciao, Ivan Gro. Ciao, my friend. Um, who else do we have? Arthur. Arthur is a great player and probably underrated. I'm curious to see Arthur together with Allegri, but at the moment he's not even there. And if there is one quality that Arthur doesn't have, is playing fast and vertical. So we see that Locatelli, he has that skill. McKenny is not a player that plays in vertical with passes. He goes vertically, he runs, and he's really great in inserting himself with penetrations, but he's not someone that is actually able to pass vertically. Rabiot is not one that is passing vertically. And here we found the guy that maybe can play like Massimiliano Allegri is asking to the players since the first game versus Cesena, then Monza and then Barcelona when we started to see the players playing a bit faster and vertical because we went five or six or seven times in front of the goal of Neto in that game. I don't know if you remember, even if we lost 3-0, we don't care about pre-season friendlies. The important thing is the ideas of the game. And we saw some verticalization. And that's a player that maybe we were missing because don't forget we were playing with a Ramsey as a trequartista. No, trequartista, as a regista. Here. Look at the second one. What is doing Locatelli? He knows immediately. And now I will let you dream a bit. Because Locatelli is a player that is able to play a bit like a number six, the old position as um, Pjanic. Regista, but he's also able to play on the left as a mezzala, taking the ball, playing fast. Who is on the left side? It is Cristiano Ronaldo, but sometimes Cristiano Ronaldo goes more in the front, and we saw so sometimes we also saw a Federico Chiesa in that position. Look here, you see it on the left part of the picture with his name Chiesa Locatelli. To Chiesa. How many times were you complaining that nobody was there able to give the passes to Cristiano Ronaldo in his feet? We have a Locatelli. Or wait, because it's not official. We will have to wait the result and the outcome of tomorrow. But that's probably the player that we were missing. Versus Austria. Indeed, George. I know it hurts for you because you are living in Austria. I know that don't cry too much. You can be proud that you were beaten by the ones that won the Champions League, the Champions League, the Euro 2021. Um, only Bonucci could play vertical passes last season. It's totally true. Uh, it's totally true. And that's also why I'm thinking that probably uh, we will see some Bonucci with De Ligt a lot of time this season in defense. Alexander on the left, Danilo on the right, with a Locatelli in the middle, a Rabiot and a McKenny. That's for me the starting midfield, If even if we know that Massimiliano Allegri likes to change not only the man but also the way we play. Cristiano Ronaldo on the left, Dybala, that we are waiting because we are really waiting to understand what position Dybala will play. We know that 4 3 3. On the right side, it's not the ideal position of Dybala. But maybe Allegri will do something that he never did in the past, playing with a Falso Nueve. He played a lot of time with a 3-5-2. He played with a 4-2-3-1 with a track artist that be behind, or, uh, yeah, behind the striker. He did a lot of things, but he never really played with a Falso Nueve. Will that be the moment of Dybala Falso Nueve? Let's discover, let's see. And Federico Chiesa, the man that you cannot bench, the man that is really important for that Juventus because the man is an animal. He's running after the ball. He's creating at least 10 chances for him and for his teammates in the game. Let's see what we will do with him. 
we continue with the pictures because I wanted to go in other pictures, a bit more tactical. What do we see here? We see the season 2020, 2021 from Locatelli. We will have three pictures and then we will go to uh, the other things that we prepared here. Some other stats, really nice stats, guys, that I want to check with you. Also comparing with the Tolisso, comparing uh, with Mira Lempjanic, with Chuaimeni. We will see all these stats. But first of all, let's go here on that one. I will try also to read your comments. So if I'm not always looking straight into the camera, it's because I try to read I hope you like that a bit more tactical one uh, because then I wanted to do the same a bit more in a video with my great friend Mo El Tactico that will even explain better. But now we will do it and we will discover together. Ciao Alessio, thanks for joining. So what do we see here? Statistics of the passages or the passes from Locatelli last season in 90 minutes. What do we see? And that's a really important stat is that we see that when uh, he is pressed when the team Sassuolo was pressed we saw that he did 10.27 passes per 90 minutes when he was pressed when he has the men on him and that's an important one because the last season we saw that a lot of teams like an Atalanta like Sassuolo like a lot of other teams were pressing Juventus you remember the factor of teams not being scared anymore about Juve and they were pressing us all the game guys that will be the uh, the key factor someone that is able under pressure to give passes 10 passes under pressure per season we see uh another one it's that um the progressive passes 8.30 progression passes what does that mean that actually it's passes that go forward offensively to actually progress the idea of football eight per game per 90 minutes that's a lot guys as is john our friend He's saying tomorrow will be a great Friday. News Locatelli to Juventus. I believe. I believe. Let's see. I'm not sure if we will put the player with his picture, with a video. I don't think that will happen. But maybe we will, uh, we will sign him because it will be in the morning, the meeting. And maybe in the afternoon he will come. He's already in Milan. I don't know if he will come with the plane. I don't know if he will come with the helicopter. I don't know if he will come with the boat. Or if he's already undercover in Torino waiting for the announcement of tomorrow. Let's see. Ciao Elena. Who's saying ciao Beppe. Any idea where Andrea Pirlo will coach? Keep up the great work you are doing. Grazie Elena. Uh, at the moment, our friend Andrea Pirlo took some uh, free time. And he will uh, uh, probably jump into a mid-low table Serie A team uh, half of the season. We know that in Serie A they love to uh, dismiss trainers after one day, after 10 days and so on and so on. So uh, let's see what is... Uh, and then we will continue with the stats uh, because we have more about Locatelli to present you who is Locatelli. But Daniel, our great friend, is saying hopefully Dybala is able to play around 20 games this season. He will play more. He will be very helpful in my opinion. I believe that as well due to the constant injuries i don't expect more gain for him but let's hope but um they said that uh and i believe in it that uh he had a uh, muscle fatigue and they didn't want to risk him because we know that last season was a big injury year an unfortunate year for paulino dibala but i uh i really believe that uh, it can be an important important man for Juventus this year last season guys with Cristiano Ronaldo uh, we missed Paulino Dybala we missed him with his free kicks from the left side we missed his uh, way of uh, being actually really fast when he had the ball these beautiful dribbles we missed it a lot so I'm counting on him as well uh, ciao the OJ guy the original guy with a beautiful old Juventus logo um, Felix Correa on loan, yes, we will speak about it later. Uh, so I'm trying to read as well the comments, but let's continue with some stats that were prepared, like this one. What is this one important? So we see that per 90 minutes, uh, Locatelli, he prefers to play uh, with his right foot because we see that 68 passes per game, 
in average over the season are with his right foot, but also nearly 17 passes with his left foot per game. And that's not normal that he's actually able to play with his two feet. And that's a really great quality for Locatelli. Uh, he tried 87 passes per game and he has a succession rate of 76 passes. It's not a percentage, I'm sorry, it's not a percentage, it's on 87 tentatives, 60, 76 are succeeded. Pay attention because these stats I went into, personal players uh, stats, are the succession rates of defenders or goalkeepers. We know that defenders, they don't take the same risk as uh, midfielders. Midfielders are taking a lot more risk because they are pressed, because uh, you have a lot more density, while defenders they are actually starting to build from the back with not always the same pressure. So it's quite great statistic. Uh, Raso Terra, 69% passes uh, per 90 games are actually uh, low, low, okay? So we see that from 87 passes that he does per 90 minutes, 76 are succeeded and 69 are uh, low. So that means that 87 mi minus uh, 69, so minus eight, it's our uh, 17, 18 passes are not low on the ground, but a bit higher, like a center across or a long distance pass. Can we check if we have some stats about that? Here we have a lot more stats. I will not go through all of them, but we see actually a bit more in detail uh, what they are saying. Contrasti tre quarte offensiva. We see that actually the contrast in the three quart offensively are 0 0.5 per game. Uh, he's doing actually a big pressure because 2 0.5 times per game is actually going himself offensively to press so we can say and think that 2.5 times so it can be one game two times the other game three times that he goes and press the opponents as well that's not bad that's not bad because don't forget he was playing at Sassuolo he was not playing at Juventus pressing in the midfield nearly seven times per game. So he's pressing a lot, huh? seven times in the midfield, 2.5 times per game he's going up offensively pressing and helping the center forwards. A role that we will see a lot McKenney doing at Juventus. So probably McKenney will go around four or five times while Locatelli is also able to do it, okay? If we see then comparing a bit players, uh, we see that you see, he was 16th in Serie A with distance progression passes. What does that mean? Distance progression passes. That, um, and we will ban immediately people like Jeff Chinait, who's saying uh, uh, vulgar words about the team that I love, my beloved Juventus. So player, people in the chat, that uh, this season I took, I took a decision, guys. Huh? The people that are annoying me, impolite, uh, versus our beloved Juventus, we don't even discuss. We put the first time in timeout, the second time we ban. Because we want a healthy, beautiful chat. That's important, really important. Um, <laughs> so, what were we speaking about? And tell me if I'm going too fast with the stats and so on, because that's also really important uh, that you tell me because sometimes I'm going really fast. But here we see that distance progression means actually the distance that we do with our passes, not the players running, but just the ball from the feet of the player towards the destination. And we see that per 90 minutes, uh, 421 meters comes uh, in passes from Manuel. Locatelli. That's a really great stat because look at the other guys. Luigi Sepe is a goalkeeper, 678. Why? Because they are probably not building from the back, but they are playing at the old way, putting the ball really far away. He played at Parma, so it makes totally sense. Second is a goalkeeper. Third, fourth, fifth, we have uh, Emil Audero, goalkeeper, fifth, sixth is a defender. So we see nobody as a midfielder. The first midfielder, the midfielder that we have in that stat is Manuel Locatelli. And that's a really great stat. Total distance, 
1434 meters. That's a lot. 87% completed passes. 87, we already spoke about that, tentatives per game. 87%. It's really great. Eh? It's really high. Danilo is near to us, but he's a defender. Let's go to the other picture. Where Where is it? I don't have it here. One, two, three. Let me check if I uh, have my pictures ready or not. Not here. Not here. So I will go to the web uh, a bit later. Eh? A bit later. So because we have to speak also about comparison, comparing the players with other, like Pjanic, like Tolisso, uh, and these players to understand really how Locatelli is playing. But the stats that we just spoke about now, at the moment, means two things. Locatelli is a player that can play with the two feet, left and right. He's a player that is playing vertical, as we saw in the images. It's really great stats. He's someone that two or three times is even going pressing up. He does it six or seven times in the midfield, going really pressing. So he's able, thanks to his physique, to run and to press. But he's also someone that can master the long passes. He knows how to do long passes. Whatever side of the field, left or right, but he's able to play vertically and also on the side with long passes. So when he will be at Juventus, he will probably be one that will build also the game, that will receive the ball, put his chin up, see not only the players that are really near to us, he will not play in the back, but he will play in the front. Chin up, checking, like we saw with the image that I showed you, the second image, let me show you here. So you see up, Locatelli, he sees that Chiesa is running towards the goal, like we saw a lot of time Ronaldo doing. You remember, Ronaldo was a lot of time frustrated last season because he didn't receive the ball, he was running and nobody saw him, except of Bonucci from the back, but sometimes he was a bit too far. That's a quality that Locatelli has. He can play with Ronaldo, he can play on the other side with Chiesa, because in the midfield, if he plays like a regista, he can do that. And that's where I'm thinking about where will Locatelli play, because he can play a bit more on the left, but he can play as a regista. I believe that he can play as a regista. He can play like a regista. Why? Because he's the one that can build from the back and that can see opportunities there. There. Option A, option B, whatever. But he will be really quick. An important man will be Rabiot when he will come back. Because Rabiot will be a bit the shield of Locatelli. If we have a Rabiot, if we have a McKenney, if we have a Locatelli, and I'm speaking about starters, guys, we have young midfield, dynamic midfield. We have also a physical midfield, because Rabiot, because McKenny, they have some physique. They are good guys. Rabiot is long, tall. Locatelli is tall. We have a McKenny. It's not that tall. But it's not little as well, but he's can, he has an extension power in the legs that is really great. He's taken all the balls. I see a beautiful midfield with Locatelli. But then pay attention. Pay attention. The head, the pressure. Because for us all summer we spoke about Locatelli. Locatelli is the savior, is the best player. We want, we need him. We can't even sign him. He's young. He will go to the team of his heart. His legs, the first days, they will shake because he will be scared. He knows the pressure. He knows about social media. He knows that we are waiting for him like the Messiah. Pay attention. Don't be negative when he will miss some passes. Give him time, he is still young. And if we are able to do that, he will become a great midfielder. Yeah, McKenna is uh, not two meter, but uh, Rui is uh, probably, well, I think it was 178 out of my head. Huh? If you want, we can check uh, if I'm right or wrong. Let me go to transfer market, guys, uh, because I think there are 
giving. I set 178 without controlling, uh, just out of my head. Uh, 177, you see 177, that's written here. Uh, I thought it was 178. I don't know if, if um, ah, look at that. I already prepared the image, but uh, here it's 177. Whatever, whatever. Let me check the comment, you see, it was 177. Feel like Locatelli embraces the pressure to absolutely yes. Centrocampo a rombo, that's the comment of Ivan. Ahmad is saying we need him, but we can't carry the, but he can't carry the team alone, and that's a really great comment. Absolutely. Now I don't believe that Locatelli will be alone, especially because we don't have a bad man. Okay, Rabiot has some qualities, and we saw it, not that much, but sometimes we saw the qualities of Rabiot. We saw the qualities of uh, McKenny. We saw two years ago, three years ago, the qualities of Bentancur. The qualities can't disappear, but sometimes in some contexts, they are not showing up. Gracias, is John, who's saying Locatelli could be more goals in Euro. But Agnelli called Mancini, asked him, don't let him score more goals. Otherwise, Sassuolo asked 100 million for Juventus. But I agree. I remember that after his uh, brace in uh, Euro 2020, uh, I remember I made a tweet, a really nice tweet about that. It was really funny where I said that if the value was 40 million, probably now it will be 60 after the first goal and 80 after the second goal. If he would have scored a bit more, probably it would increase, like uh, as is Johnny saying, around 100 million euro. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I think also Euro 2020 made actually Locatelli or the people aware that Locatelli is really a great player and that he has some potential. Then Verratti came and he took again his position, but Locatelli, the time that he played, uh, was really, really good. I love as well the human factor, the fact that uh, no polemic. It's not a player that went uh, online and uh, started writing some things about Sassuolo or that he wanted to leave or like uh, uh, Harry Kane was doing, I love Tottenham and so on. No, he was uh, enjoying his holiday. Then the first day of training, no, for the medicals of Sassuolo, he went immediately to Sassuolo without discussion. When he had to train with Sassuolo, he was there, he was present, always polite, respectful. And that's also a quality that we have to appreciate for a player like him. Um, so I'm happy about that as well. Absolutely, yes. Um, Locatelli 188. We can check uh, the stats of uh, of Locatelli. Yeah? Let's go. Let's go and see. But I think he's for sure bigger than McKenny. 185 according to Transfer Market. Uh, I don't know if they have a if they have all the right stats about the length of the people, but they are saying 185. So it's uh, it's it's not small, huh? Uh, 23 years old, 185, midfield, defensive midfield, uh, right foot, but he can also really play with his left foot. Uh, current rumors, you see, Arsenal was really interested, but he didn't care. He really wanted to go to Juventus. Look, <laughs> he played at uh, at Milan. Uh, he came from Antalanta youth, but that's where he, when he was really young. Then he went to Milan uh, youth team, and then for a uh, uh, eight million on loan transfer, twelve million they bought him at the end, and now uh, they will make some money with him, eh? some big profit, and make sense eh? because he's a great player. Um, we could speak about the other stats, but I will wait for Mo to do it because there are a lot of more stats to discover the player. But I think that uh, uh, we already have an idea of uh, the qualities of the players uh, today. I saw in Avant Première a video that someone uh, made uh, for him. What a nice video. Not an official video, huh? it's, guys, it's not an official one, huh? but uh, a nice video. I saw some uh, beautiful plays, aggressive player, on the ball, passionate, uh, uh, really good. So I can't wait for Locatelli. Let's see if it will happen or not. 
Elena is saying, Beppe, great information and statistics you are sharing with us. But I think, you know, I, I didn't want to do it too early. Uh, why? Because if we have no guarantee that the player will come, it's a bit stupid to start uh, doing. But I was already checking who knows him, how does he play, because it's true that, you know, I like the player. I saw him a few times now because he already played since a few years in Serie A, but it's not a player that I watch every single week. So I really wanted to go a bit more in detail to understand uh, and he has some potential. The only thing is pay attention because I don't want that we put all our hopes in the guy and then after five games we say uh, Locatelli out because that would uh, not be correct at all. So we have to pay attention with that. But then, yeah, he's a great player. Absolutely, yes. Uh, Vlaovic to Atletico? I don't know. It would uh, it would be strange eh? because uh, they have Luis Suarez, they have Felix, uh, uh, the other Felix. What's, uh, what's his name? Joao Felix. Is it Joao Felix? Yeah, yeah Joao Felix. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, all this talk about Locatelli is too much. It's like COVID è troppo. It, if it happens, it happens. If not, life goes on. Uh, it's true. It's true that if it doesn't happen, life goes on. That's why I always said, uh, if he comes, I'm super happy. Italian guy, Juventino. And I would love to have a bit more Juventinita in our team. That's really important. A bit more Italian players in our team, especially young players, because he's only 23. If he doesn't come, he doesn't come, guys. Uh, we have to go, to go over. Now, is it too much talk? No, it's not too much. Uh, it's because there is not a lot of Mercato. Uh, around Juventus. If you see Paris Saint-Germain, they bought Hakimi, then they bought Wijnaldum, then they bought Messi, then they bought uh, Donnarumma. So you have material to speak about other players every day. If you have Caio Giorgio and Locatelli alone, what do you want to talk about? Uh, so you speak about these two players. Um, we had to wait longer and I think it's correct. I think it's really correct. Now, is it official? No. Maybe to, maybe we are speaking about a player that tomorrow Sassuolo will say no. And then it's over and we will never see Locatelli anymore. Uh, but I'm quite confident. I'm quite confident about uh, tomorrow, the good day for Locatelli. Um, so, what about Pjanic? But Pjanic is really easy, uh, uh, Miss Tondelli. It's quite easy, and we said it, huh? he loves the club. For me, he's a great player. Pjanic is a great player, uh, but he didn't perform at all with Sarri. He was even benched. He had zero relationship with the man Sarri. He hated him. Uh, he went to Barcelona, always continued to love Juve, always in contact with the Juve world. And now he, he wants to go back, but Juventus has no space for Locatelli. Uh, we spoke about it yesterday. I don't know if I still have the picture uh, of yesterday. Let me check. Yeah, here. I have the picture so I can show you. No, it's not that one. It's here. Uh, wait. Uh, up, up. It's this one. These are the <laughs> Champions League lists where we see that with the arrival of Locatelli, if he comes, if he signs, we already have to put another player out of the Champions League list. Today, there is already Arthur out of the Champions League because he will probably come back in October, November. Uh, who do you put out? And that was the discussion that we had yesterday in the live. So we already have to put someone out. So if Ramsey doesn't leave, Pjanic will not come uh, because we are too much. We are too much. Um, if he comes, I would be really happy, eh? honestly. Eh? On loan, two years. But I, I don't believe uh, at the moment that it's feasible because Ramsey is there. And also because... Uh, 
we are maybe already thinking about 2022 and that's when the moment when I want to speak about the other player. But first, <claps> grazie Aziz John, uh, who's saying, if Chiesa, Cristiano Ronaldo, Dybala clicks, we knock out Neymar, Mbappé and Messi. So before going to Paul Pogba, uh, I saw a beautiful tweet of Maurizio from around Turin, who was saying his opinion, and he said that according to him, Chiesa, Cristiano, Ronaldo and Dybala, so the CCT, uh, is probably only second to the MNM. Mbappé, Neymar, and Messi. Uh, the difference is in the midfield because they have a great midfield, let's be honest. But it's true. I don't know if you knock out or not on paper in qualities. Huh? But I know one thing. Mbappé is not happy. He doesn't want to play at Paris Saint-Germain anymore. He, wanted, he wants to go to Real Madrid because since he's a kid, like Locatelli, Locatelli is a Juventus fan, Mbappé is a Real Madrid fan, like Lukaku is a Chelsea fan. Since a kid, I saw some documentaries about Lukaku when he was a kid and he visited the Chelsea Stamford Bridge. He was a kid emotional, in love with that club. It's the club of his heart. He went one time, they sent him on loan immediately to Everton, I believe. He went back, he played quite great, then he left. And now he's going back to the club of his heart uh, after a crazy season at Inter. Eh, M Mbappé wants to go to Real Madrid. Will he go this year? Will he go next year? We will discover that. We will really discover that. Um, I'm curious. I would not exclude it. But there are some things that tells me that the property of Paris Saint-Germain, they prefer to lose him at zero than to sell him. Uh, they don't need the money. Other clubs would have sold him eh, for 130, 150 million euro. That's the money that Real Madrid wants to put for Mbappé. They don't. They don't want to. They don't care about the money. So let's see what will happen there. But if you keep an Mbappé that doesn't want to play, because who will take the free kicks? Neymar, Messi, Mbappé. Who will take the penalties? Neymar, Mbappé, Messi. What will Mbappé do? Mbappé is a world-class player. Eh? He's a star. It's a phenomenon. It's a big player. Will he carry everything to actually play at the disposal of uh, Messi? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm really curious about that. Huh? I'm really curious. Uh, but if Mbappé goes to Real Madrid this summer, I think they will do a tentative for Ronaldo. We spoke about it this morning in the video. I don't know if you saw it or not. But uh, if next year Mbappé goes for free to Real Madrid, they want to make happen what millions of fans of the planet of the world wants to see at least one time in the year. It is Messi and Ronaldo in the same team. That would be sick and crazy. Uh, I had a discussion in the Telegram group today about that, where I said that uh, it would be purely marketing, really purely. The year of the World Cup Qatar, uh, you know, that Paris Saint-Germain owners are the ones that are organizing Qatar 2022 uh, would be a crazy marketing move to have them. Uh, Ronaldo staying at Juve. We are the 13th of August. We start in nine days with Serie A. The chances are really high that he stays with us and I'm really happy about that. You know that I'm happy with Cristiano Ronaldo at Juventus. Would I promise you today that Cristiano Ronaldo stays even this season? I don't know. Uh, I can't promise you. 95%, 98% he stays, but then 
Let's see, because with Paris Saint-Germain, uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. They are able to do whatever they want at the moment. Um, um, and Cristiano Ronaldo is there. He's saying Juventus doesn't really deserve Ronaldo. Um, what do you want me to say about that? I don't even want to comment. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, Paredes is a good midfielder. All of us will be witness. Paris Saint-Germain not going to win the Champions League uh, with three killers front, but without great midfielder. It's tough. It is tough. It is tough. I mean. Champions League is always tough. Huh? Paris Saint-Germain will melt down when one thing wrong happens. Imagine Neymar steps to take a penalty and not Messi, and he misses it. Yeah, yeah. But Messi and Neymar, they are great friends. Huh? I think it's more with the other one. And keeping Mbappé can be can be hard huh? in that optic. It can be really hard. Huh? Um, ah, my 10. Uh, but you know what the problem is? When I was younger, and I went alone or with my friends on a holiday, I was putting a protection... No. To be honest, in the beginning I was stupid and I didn't even put protection. But then I grew up and I put protection like 20 or 30. Uh, and I was a lot more tent when I came back from holiday. Now my wife is uh, is really white, really, the color is white. And she needs protection 50. And I don't want to carry like uh, protection 30, uh, 120, 150. So I do the same, uh, the protection 50 and... Uh, and that's why I'm not really tanned. But a bit, a bit. I'm happy. Look at the, the arms. The arms are great. So uh, if we go back now. Wait. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to show here. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm curious what number he, we will take. Ah, maybe we can do a poll about that. If, if he comes, what number he will take? Number... Locatelli. So, will he take his number 73? Will he take the number 21 that... Remember, maybe Caio Giorgio will take. Because he signed, but he's still not announced officially with the number. Let's check first. Let's check if sometimes Juventus, they do some leaks. Let's go and see. Wait, let's go and see. Sometimes there are some leaks with players like Danilo uh, and so on. So we have Chiellini, De Ligt, Arthur, Danilo, Ronaldo, Ramsey, Morata, Dybala, Quadrado, Alexandro, McKenny, Bonucci, Bernardeschi, Chiesa, Rabiot, Bentancur and Kulusevski. So there is still not Caio Giorgio. We have to wait. Uh, there is not and you can't see the options for sure guys but uh, uh, so we have as we said and thank you Andrew thank you Andrew grazie Andrew we have 73 21 or other number three options why am I saying 21 normally it should be Caio Jorge because he signed with the number 21 he's playing with the number 9 now eh? he was playing in his ex team maybe they didn't announce him because they were waiting for Locatelli Juventus was waiting for Locatelli if he takes the number 20 maybe if he signs he takes the number 21 maybe if he doesn't sign, Kaya Jorge will go for 21. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Huh? Uh, Danilo is number 6. Yes. Uh, 27 for Kaya Jorge. Maybe. Maybe it's 27 and not the 21. Because we are, were all thinking it was 27, 21. Maybe it's 27. Evair. It can be. Huh? Because 2 plus 7 is 9. The 18. Who has an 18 at Juventus? Do we have a player with 18? Uh, by heart, let me check. Huh? Uh, no, we have nobody with 18. Can be, huh? Eight, it's po not possible. Eight is uh, Ramsey. Five is Arthur, so it's not possible. 45, I don't like. 
I don't like. I hope it's 21. For me, I hope as well it's 21. Eh? I, I would love to have 21, like Roberto Gallo as well. 26. Ah, 26 uh, reminds me a bit of Edgar Davids. Um, 15. Strange number. It's free. Can be. Do you think we can... Oh, wait, wait. We'll speak about Pogba now, huh? Uh, 17, maybe, 7, no, not the 7, 43, 8 for record, I'm not a big fan of the high numbers, why 73, because that's his number now with, uh, with Sassuolo, uh, I'm not a big fan eh, of 44 like uh, Kulusevski, 77 like Buffon, I don't really like these high numbers, to be, I will be really honest with you guys, um, I prefer from one to uh, how many players do you have? You have 30 players from one to 30. And then you give the big numbers to the Yaw team. Eh? Uh, that's okay. But I'm not a big fan. I prefer the goalkeeper with number one. De Chilio with number two. That's what I like. Um, so what is the, the... What are you voting at the moment? 37%, oh, it's really a big mix. 36% huh? are saying 73, 37% are saying 21, uh, and then 27 are saying another numbers, and you are writing them. Grazie, Ricardo. It's morning in Australia. Good morning, Ricardo, again. We're saying, Beppe, Champions League, you need a lot of luck, as Juve had, had no luck since 96, but maybe COVID, this could be the year. <sighs> Ricardo, in Champions League it's true, we never had the luck after 96, it's true, sometimes because of ourselves, because we have our responsibilities as well, huh? the players, but also sometimes the management, I didn't do the right choices, but a lot of times uh, I'm thinking about the offside goal of uh, Real Madrid with Hierro, I'm thinking about the penalty not given of Paul Pogba versus Barcelona on the 1-1 that could have changed the game or the 1-0, I don't remember. Uh, so, can everything can happen. I, I, I believe that Champions League, if you are a great club, we are speaking about the big clubs, guys. Uh, Bayern Munich, Paris Saint-Germain now, uh, Juventus. Uh, we are not speaking about Bruges in Belgium. or. But if you are a big club, you have the chances to go until the end. Then you need the, the il fattore culo, the ass, a bit of ass, a bit of luck factor. And uh, maybe, maybe, maybe yes. Pellegrini has 17, but Pellegrini, if I hear, we said it a bit earlier, he will probably go on uh, on loan. Eh? On loan. Um, and we have, uh, because we have here, Adi who's saying, put the like, maximum of likes. But at the moment, guys, we already passed the 180. You know, that's always a target. Maybe we can go slowly but surely towards the 200 likes. But I'm also already a lot happy with 187 in the beginning without asking for it. And that's really great. Great, great, great. Uh... Clement, Juventus should attack the Albert Pro Chalan deal because I see that he's going to be the striker that uh, all the clubs will uh, search. I, I don't know who he is. Albert Pro Chalan. Boop. I don't know who he is. Um, <laughs> what number you will wearing this season? My, my favorite number is 11. Huh? Um I love 11. By the way, I received some nice things today. Wait, wait. Uh, this is from last season. Eh? This is from last season with Paolino Dybala, uh, Giorgio Chiellini. We have uh, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. They're really nice cards. I love these cards. I don't know if you like them. I really love them. But I also had something else, guys. Wait, let me check. Wait. 
Here they are. I have them. They are really nice. Giorgio Chiellini. Giorginio. Donna Roma. Bonucci. I even have more Bonucci. I will give some stickers away, I believe. I have also here, I have a bit everywhere. Look. Cristiano Ronaldo. I have some stickers, some nice stickers. So I was thinking maybe to put everything in the fantasy league that I'm doing. I'm doing a fantasy league, guys. And I want to do and to give a bit, a few giveaways. Not only the stickers, but stickers I want to give. I want to give a, a shirt of Juventus, but it depends how many people we are. If we are, we are already 40 people subscribed. If we are more, then the prices will go more. It's free, yeah? of course it's free. But uh, I wanted to give some nice things and uh, to uh, a bit more players, uh, people. So let me check. Uh, yeah, it's true, it's true. Yeah, it's also true. Uh, they removed, and today was even uh, worse. Huh? I don't know if you know, but uh, uh, so they removed us from the new uh, Champions League uh, uh, trailer. But today was even worse because UEFA, they wished the birthday to Matthias de Ligt because it's his birthday today. And uh, they, uh, they, they showed actually a movie of him scoring versus Juventus in Champions League. Don't tell me it's a coincidence. Don't tell me. Uh, don't tell me. Yeah, they are amazing. They are really great. They are really great, the stickers. Uh, are the stickers from Turin Giants? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 All of them. All of them. I also have other... Are beautiful and they are really beautiful I have some stickers so so now let's speak about something else and then we will finish the live last topic because I wanted to speak about not about the shirt of Kellini of course not but I wanted to speak about this man here uh, there are some rumors again guys about uh, my boy, you know that I love my boy so much. Huh? I love Paul Labil Pogba uh, probably too much. It's difficult. Huh? What did you vote? You forty-four percent vote for the number twenty-one. Huh? Twenty-one. So it will be twenty-one. We will tell Locatelli to take the twenty-one, so everyone is happy. Uh, Pogba. Pogba. Not this season, eh? forget about this season, and I explain why. Paul Pogba is a player that still, his contract actually finished last year with Manchester United. No, this year. This year was the last year. But there was an option for Manchester United to extend. They could decide if they wanted to extend or not for one more year. Last year. Obviously, they didn't want to lose him for zero, so they extended him one year. Uh, and it's totally correct, because it was in the contract that they can give him one more year. And they did. So now his contract would officially finish on the 31st of July, or the 30th of June, 2022. He didn't want to renew. Multiple times he wanted to leave Manchester United, especially when they were not even qualifying to Champions League and so on. Now that they qualified a few times to Champions League, he's a bit more happy. 
But Pogba already made clear he will not renew with Manchester United. There were some voices of him going to Paris Saint-Germain. The supporters from Paris Saint-Germain, they don't want him. Why? Because he's not a Paris Saint-Germain supporter. He said it multiple times. He even said in the past that he will never go there. Now he was probably changing a bit his opinion with Mino Raiola. That probably spoke with him. But the supporters doesn't want to. The guy, the pro the owner of Paris Saint-Germain is not stupid. Eh? He said, if, this, if I want to put a lot of money on a player, salary, and also to buy him, and my supporter doesn't want him, I will not do it. And uh, he can go to Real Madrid, but without, without Zidane attention this year is impossible we don't have 60 million 60 million to spend but next year for free guys next year for free i believe i believe there are chances we we, we didn't even finish this mercato so i don't want to go too much in crazy things and theories and blah 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 but i believe it can happen i really believe it can happen because if we really lose cristiano ronaldo last year we need an image man a man that can also compensate not like cristiano ronaldo cristiano ronaldo is the number one for media but we need someone and that man can be someone so I would love to. And I believe it can happen. Eh? They can't now, but from January, yes. Is he old, Pogba? Hey guys, he's 28. Uh, old, he's 28. If you go on uh, with transfer, maybe I'm wrong. Eh? But I think, it's even, I think he's even 27 and he will be 28. But maybe I'm wrong. So let's check. Paul Pogba. I know he's already 28 so it will be in March it will be 29 29 is not old guys huh? it is not old 29 if we are speaking about Cristiano Ronaldo he will be 37 Chiellini will be 37 uh, 29 is not old it's the peak of your career 28 is the peak of your career so for me it's not old and especially if you can have a player like him for free um, can Juventus make a pre-corner? We already read it. Uh, Juan, if Juventus brings Pogba for free again, Manchester United is officially our... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Paul Pogba was priced around 65 million. I would buy Locatelli and Renato for that price and would get Pogba for free next year. But yeah, but... Pogba will never come this year. Right? We don't have the money to uh, buy Pogba this year. So it will not arrive. Forget about it. But next year for free, that's something else. After a long time, I am in your life. I hope you and your family are, are fine. Yeah, that's why I love the community. Because uh, sometimes you also have totally not football related questions. But really nice messages. Thank you, Deb. Uh, yeah, we are doing good. Uh, my last days of holiday, I still have some work to do at home. Uh, but I started working again for Juventus. Meanwhile, and I was back. But we are doing fine. We are doing fine. Uh, absolutely, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, but the, last year, Arthur, don't forget, huh? he came back. No, he came back. He came from Barcelona with problems uh, on his back. He didn't play for a long time with Barcelona. Um, why? Because he had not a good relationship at the end with them, so he didn't even play. Uh, COVID before, uh, before not him, eh? but uh, it was COVID lockdown. Then he came back. He didn't play anymore with Barcelona. And then he came, he had some, some problems as his back, he had some problems to adapt to the game of Pirlo, but at a certain, certain moment he started to understand. And from that moment, from the moment he understood, 
it started to be good. And then what was the problem? The problem was that um, Romero from Atalanta collision problem injury. Hey, this one in this guys. But uh, Arthur is a great, great, great player and also young. He just celebrated 24, so it's good. What's that music? Ah, it's coming from here. Uh, that's the annoying thing of transfer market. Every time you go there, you have some music. Locatelli 21, Pogba 22. What a midfield. Yeah, it would be beautiful. Caio Jorge, will he play uh, games this season? Yes, he will, absolutely. We didn't uh, buy a player for 2 million. Eh? Uh, oh, we need the music. We need the music because we have 207 likes. Meanwhile, so that's a promise. Thank you, Adi. Thank you, all the people, for liking the video. You are really great. Thank you, guys. Uh, so now that we spoke about the possibility of Pogba next year, that we really went into inside of Locatelli, uh, let me check. Uh, five minutes together. If you have questions about other things, uh, we can we can do. And otherwise, we will see uh, each other tomorrow morning for an important day, for a really important day tomorrow. Uh, put your uh, alarm clock really early because everything can happen. And I will probably jump live from the moment that uh, uh, we have some more news and maybe official news. Let's wait. Let's wait. Uh, <clears throat> Natale Corrente saying I hope to see a group of us at the Alliance uh, supporting together next year when we can all travel safely again uh, I will try to go I already said that for Juventus Milan the weekend of the 19th of September so it's uh, in one month from now I would love to go there and if there are some people let me know then we, then we can see each other of course uh, Oh, zero, zero dislikes. Mm. I had some popcorn. I went to the, the to the movie today. Ciao, Dragan. What do you think uh, do we need? New left back and right back? And could Pogba come to Juve for free next season? We just spoke about Pogba. I think the possibility for Pogba next season, not this season, is there. But one year is long, guys. Huh? Everything can happen. But the possibilities are there. Um... And what about now, right back? I don't believe we need right back. There is Danilo, there is Quadrado, but he will play more offensively this season. And there is also De Chilio as a second or third choice on the right. I have really no problem for the right side. Left side, uh, I would love to have some players on the left side. But um, who? That's a big question. That's a big question. I don't know who, but left back, I would love to. I don't believe we will have one, but I would love to. But people are speaking about Barella. Why are you speaking about Barella, guys? Barella is a player of uh, Inter. Yes, they have financial troubles, uh, but no, guys, forget Barella. They will give you every single player, but they will not give you Barella. Forget about it. Forget about Bastoni. Forget about Barella. These players, they will remain at uh, at Inter. Forget. It's a pity, eh? You're a great player, Barella, but he will not come. Uh, can Juventus buy Rodri or Casemiro or Rice? No. I am Australian. Uh, we cannot leave maybe until next year. Uh, we still cannot leave maybe until next year. It's true. Everything can happen. Danilo can play right back. But it's his position, guys. Huh? It's the position of uh, Danilo. Uh, can be an option. But not standard. Uh, even if he played some great games, Danilo, there. But you know what you miss then? You miss then the possibility and the ability to go really fast and cross. Um, 
Exor would need to finance the Barella dream, but they will not because uh, <laughs> uh, Exor will never enter Juventus to give money for Mercato. If we have troubles, they will help us, but not for Mercato reasons. <coughs> this is the best Juve channel and it's because you have such a beautiful person. Thank you. You have made this channel a family had to be said. Thank you, Anthony. But uh, the best Juve channel, I don't know. I don't know uh, because there are a lot of Italian great Juve channels. Uh, I'm thinking about the Juventibus family. They are amazing. Um, uh, Colpo Gobbo, uh, Kinoshi, a lot of Italian YouTubers. If you are speaking about English, uh, I started alone, alone, and it was not. It was a difficult choice, huh? But I saw that there was a an opportunity and a big miss because there was nothing in English except of two, three people that inconsistently were doing some things. Uh, and I wanted to do some really things. And uh, I did it. Now I don't have the same time that was when I started because I'm working also a lot for Juventus, for the Twitch channel. It's preparing researchers time that I cannot put in my own channel, but I try to be as active as possible. Now, um, El Tactico will start again on the channel. I have maybe some surprises also on the channel. Uh, but there are great, great new channels popping up uh, because uh, uh, there are more. I am alone because I do every single thing alone. I have sometimes some help from Juve designer Martina that is helping me with some graphics. Um, uh, I have some friends that sometimes are doing some things but I'm doing everything myself. Um, I'm alone. Other channel has some people with them and they are, uh, they are a team. So I try to, to do my the best I can. It's not always easy, guys. I'm, I don't have my own room because I am uh, in a big space. But on the other side, I have my living room with the television. So it's an open space. So every time I go live, I have to tell my wife, uh, can you go in another room? Uh, so it's not always easy. The best, I don't know. You judge for sure. But uh, I think that really in uh, how long now? One year and eight months, I really try to do the best and also to be positive because that, that's important for me. Um, I really believe that being positive, supporting is important. Then... That's my way of seeing things since I am a kid. Uh, everything that I tried, when even if in my, in my personal life or professional life, when it was hard, I tried to see things positively and not in a negative way. And sometimes you succeed, sometimes you don't. Uh, it's not because you are positive that everything is granted, but it helps, it helps. Uh, and when I receive message like that, Anthony, it makes me a really pleasure. Thank you. And then we have people like Guido who just pop in uh, and asking, you good? Yeah, absolutely. I'm doing really, really great. Ciao, Carlos. We are all going to wake up and check the Telegram group for Locatelli News. Please go and participate in the Gigi's Juve Super League Fanta Calcio. That will be great. Uh, I don't know how many we are now in the Fanta Calcio. Let me check. Uh, we were 40 a bit earlier today. Uh, he starts the 22nd. Then if you are late, uh, you will lose points uh, because we will try to give some great giveaways like T-shirts, like stickers, like a Juventus shirt. I'm trying to uh, to think about it. We are we have already four pages, guys. So one page is 14 people. 14 times 3, it's 42. And then we have even a second page, 43, 44. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are 50 people already. 50 people. 50 people. That's beautiful. 50 people. Why did Juve go for Ramsey? Such a dead baller. It's not true. It's not true. I don't agree. For me, I always said that personally, I think that 
Ramsey was a mistake of is a mistake of Juve, but not because he's a bad player. Because I don't agree with that. Ramsey is a great player. The problem is that he never had the chance to do it because of injuries. Because when he comes back from injury, he's not ready. And it's time to be ready. When he's ready, he plays one game and the game after he's injured again. So we never really saw the qualities, the great qualities of Ramsey. But I still believe... Uh, I still believe that we made a mistake because we knew that he was injury prone. And that's why I don't want a player like Tolisso, for example. I don't want to make the same thing. Dario, 50 people are little for a channel with 40k, but I didn't speak about it on uh, on YouTube. Eh? It's on our, our small Telegram group with 300 people. I spoke about it there. I didn't make a thumbnail. I didn't promote on Instagram, on Twitter. I didn't really spoke about it on YouTube. So it makes sense. Uh, how to join? Uh, I will put the... I will put the code, uh, I don't have it here, wait, huh? let me check if I can find it immediately so I can put the code and if you want to, you can uh, you can join, wait, huh? let me check. I have it, I have it here guys, so I will put it in the comments and I will pin it for the people that wants to join. Okay, here it is. So what you have to do, guys, is you download for free, and it's all for free. You download for free Fanta Live Serie A. There are some countries that can't participate on the app, but I think you can, yeah, I'm sure <coughs> you can play with the web version. The app is not... Uh, available in all the countries but if not you can go to the web version Fanta Live Serie A and then you create your team and when you created your team then you put the code to join my league so ciao Natale uh, forza loca I hope so. so that's 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 what you have to do uh, yes uh, the name of the telegram is uh, G just Juve guys it's easy so the link, I don't have the link, uh, Jan, but it's super easy, yeah? uh, super easy. So check the comment that is pinned, you download it, you make your team, you have 100 million, you buy the players, it's super fun, super fun. You think the 4-4-2 is what Allegri will go for, or a 4-2-3-1? The qualities of Allegri are that he can play with a lot of... Uh, different types of formations, lineups. That's a big quality. He showed it over the time. He played with 3-5-2, 4-2-3-1, 4-3-1-2, 4-3-2-1. He played with a lot of uh, formations at Milan, at Juve, at Cagliari. <laughs> um, so I think it's not a problem. But we will start with a 4-4-2 when we don't have the ball. That becomes 4-3-3 when we have the ball. Allegri, he never, and also if you read his book, and he also said it, he's not a big pro of numbers, statistic, uh, static teams. He wants players that are thinking with their brain and that they can adapt to situations. And that's why on paper you will probably something... And then in reality, it will change depending on the moment of the game. So I believe we start with a on paper 4-2-2. Why? Why 4-2-2? Because <laughs> apparently it's a rule that uh, the formations that you see has to be actually the teams when you don't have the ball. Uh, so probably you will see a lot of time 4-4-2 while actually we will play when we have the ball in 4-3-3. Good night, Gadion. Uh, but I'll, I, I'm about to leave because it's again 2, 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, 
have you take a GoPro uh, to do the tour of the stadium and everything. Uh, you cannot film everything uh, when you're in, uh, if I'm not wrong. There are some parts you can't film, but I'm not sure. I don't remember, to be honest. I think there are something you can't film. Um, I didn't yet, but I, I visited the, I visited like two or three times. Uh, it's really nice to do. It's true, Alan. <laughs> it's true. It's it were I tr I did it last year the fantasy serie. I did it last year, and that's why I know that it works perfectly. Never bugs. It didn't. It doesn't crash. So in terms of performance, it's really great. Uh, but it's true that it doesn't look good. I agree with you, Alan. Unlike the EPL, why? Because the EPL is the official one of the league, while Italy also there, they are behind. They are behind because they don't have an official one. And why? Because in Italy, most of the time, they play with another way. They don't play Fantasy League like the one I'm giving you or like Premier League, Fantasy League. They play between friends, and it's called Fanta Calcio. It's different. It's not Fantasy League. It's Fanta Calcio where you play and every week you meet and then you sell a player to another uh, guy from your group. And you, so it's more communication internally, uh, trading players between a group. It's other rules. It's not the same. And uh, that is how they play in Italy. And probably that's also the reason why in Serie A they still don't have a Fantasy official league. But anyway, they are late, and it's true. It, the app is not beautiful, but it works perfectly, and that was, for me, really important. Ciao, Werner. Uh, grazie. So, guys, I think we spoke about a lot of things. Uh, now I will go to bed. Um, and tomorrow... I just need for I just need to go to the doctor with my son. I hope it will not be too long, and I hope it will not happen it here at that moment. I hope. I hope. Let's see. Let's see if it happens or not. So, guys, uh, you were amazing again. I love these uh, late night uh, Juve shows. I need to find a smaller name for the for the night shows. I don't know what yet. Uh, I need to find a name. I don't know. If you have suggestions, let me know. Uh, Amazon before the end of the year. I don't have the exact dates, but before the end of the year. It had it was confirmed by Amazon uh, before the end of the year. Guys, I can't say uh, ciao, but ciao, Shervin. Ciao, Fabri. Uh, Fabri, uh, if you want to know how to join, check the comment. It's pinned. You download the app Fanta Live Serie A. You download it for free, iOS, Android. If you can't, because you don't have the access to in your country, then you can go to the browser version. And then uh, when your team is created, you join the, th the team. Uh, please discuss why Juve don't think like Real Madrid or PSG. Champions League needs superstar all time. Be uh that's a really long discussion that we spoke a lot of time of now it's 2 a.m i will not discuss about that uh but uh real madrid and psg are two total different team guys uh, they don't think the same uh both of them <sighs> that's one thing and the second thing is that uh, we wanted to create the Super League, but people said uh, that uh, it was not correct because there was no competition. It was not a fair competition. Uh, they wanted the football of the people. Football of the people, apparently. Only Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester City and Chelsea can uh, offer themselves the football of the people. They said, don't steal what was created by the poor. Uh, the rich can't steal it. I don't know how they said it. Uh, so, but it's a long discussion that I don't want to speak now at 2 a.m. 
Can can you show the app uh, for a second? Yeah, of course. So let me go to the app store. So Fanta Live, Serie A. Is this one. One, two, three. That's the one. Grazie, Fabri. Uh, grazie to everyone. Ciao. Ciao, Miss Tondelli. I need to do it. Huh? But sometimes people, they don't care huh? about me speaking about uh, philosophy, my life and uh, my passions and, and so on. Uh, maybe, maybe you know what I should do uh, one day? I should create, you know, like... Uh, because on, on YouTube you can do that, a subscriber only uh, channel. And then uh, um, I could do, you know, the, the, the special dedicated G just pizza life only for the people that subscribe. Maybe, maybe I have to think about that in the future so that we don't annoy the other ones and uh, we have that on YouTube. Can be, can be a solution. Ciao Luis. Ciao to everyone. Buonanotte. E forza. You bet.